Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on my channel. I will be playing as the RDI Tribe, which is a faction recently released by the Creative Assembly as part of the Pirates and Raiders DLC. Now this will be a legendary campaign and on the screen right now you shall be seeing a couple of images. They are the mods that I am using in this Let's Play. They are the No Civil War mod, because I don't like the Civil War feature in this game and I find that uh, the things which you have to do with gravitas just doesn't work very well as a game feature. The second mod is the Rome Total War music mod which incorporates music from the original Total War Rome video game and the third mod which I'm using is the Radius Total War mod which is a total overhaul of the game. As I said this is legendary difficulty, this is the RDI and on the screen right now you can see some of the stats that they have so they're pirates so they have plus 200 percent income from raiding Neglected land, so it's minus 20% of wealth from agricultural buildings, and they are expert seafarers, so they have one more recruitment slot in all of their ports. So, without further ado, I shall click the Start Campaign button, and I shall see you all on the campaign map. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So, objective issued. This is the usual message you get at the start of a campaign. Control two provinces, either by direct ownership or through military allies, and you get a reward of 2,500. So, we start in Epidamnos. This is our capital, this is our home. And straight away I'm going to expand the city and I'm going to upgrade my port to a fisherman's hut so I get plus six food. That allows me to not go for the farm here, for the enclosed land, sorry, and go for the artisan's lodgings. And what that gives me is Illyrian levies. Now the reason I'm doing this is because Illyrian levies are much better than Illyrian spearmen. And eventually I will probably not use spearmen, I'll probably use the levies and the raiders which I will get further in this campaign. My ship for now, um, let's bring them out here. As we know we have that raiding bonus so we're going to go and look for a port. It looks like we can go to Epirus over here, Apollonia and then go into raiding stance to get some income from there. My champion is here. I'm going to quickly go and try and take Delminium. They suffer nutrition at the moment. They only have four men and they have seven plus, nope sorry they have eight units altogether. Three of them are slave javelin and one a slave. Slingers, so this shouldn't be too difficult really. Let's bring my scout further forward, my champion. And can we recruit anything decent? No we can't, so I'm not going to bother recruiting right now. Technology, we're going to go straight for headhunt, that gives me plus 25% ammunition, minus 15% mercenary upkeep cost, minus 2% upkeep for all armies, and it gives me the ability to build a bronze forge. So we're going to go straight for the headhunt, it's a useful thing to go for quickly have a look at the diplomacy. I'm going to try and fly through the first few turns and get a battle straight away in this let's play. Um, Everybody is fairly okay with me apart from the Delmatai which are the other part of Illyria so eventually we're going to want to take them out. I'll probably try and take Delminium, oh yeah, I can't say it, Delminium now. It gives me all of Illyria and I can issue an edict straight away. I may even go and take Apollonia from Epirus. Sounds like a good strategy and then perhaps take Navisos and up here, um, I think it's the score DC that are up here, we'll try and take that as well. Anyway, not much I can do now so I'll click end turn. And it's quite nice playing a campaign and not having to worry about the gravitas issue of these campaigns because I find that it's not really a feature that's been implemented that well. And I think that it's more worthwhile to do what I'm doing right now, which is not to worry about that and just concentrate on the actual expanding and the battles. And we're back now, so I'm going to recruit a spy straight away. Detus, recruit him. He's going to go up there. It's going to take one more turn and I can start recruiting some units from here and then go for Delminium. So as you can see they suffered a little bit of attrition already and here they now have a garrison of, of 9 rather than 8 but they are depleted as well which is good for me if I go to try and take this town. I'm also going to try and do something, assault the patrol, maybe attack the general, can the scout do it? Fingers crossed, he can, excellent. He's now weakened the general. And by doing so, he has leveled up as well, which is good. Verzo. And we're going to give you critical success in all actions. It's a good thing to go for in a campaign of this nature. 
one more turn my spike can go up there and he can try to poison their provisions and weaken them even further and then my general can move out from here and attack them in one swell in one swoop sorry and we can take our first province of this let's play so I'm gonna click end turn once more and we can then build the units that we want to build and oh my ship of course I forgot to move my ship put that ship into raid and stance to get a bit more income as well seems like a good strategy to start off with okay research complete we're now researching spear training that's good water cleared roman epirus water cleared dalmati and the daorsi that's good for me it means that these two are going to be against each other and unfortunately they're now not suffering attrition anymore but they are still a little bit weak which should be good and go for the general again I'm gonna go for poised provisions and hopefully we can do something here fingers crossed successful excellent and now they're weakened even further and we're an increase in rank for my spy so we will increase him and he's gonna go for critical success as well so both my agents have leveled up already in this campaign which is good and now we can of course recruit better units and this is what I'm on about so we have Illyrian spearmen here melee attack 13 the levies have 28 the weapon damage is the same levies have a bonus against infantry which is what I'm going to be fighting most of the time charge bonus is better melee defense is weaker armor is the same, health is the same and base morale is better so we're going to go for three of them and I might, I might get a unit of Molossian war dogs eventually because they're quite good in this campaign it should be useful to, to use to to disrupt the enemy when I'm charging towards them before a battle I need to hope that these guys don't attack them before I do what? might be worth using my scouts to attack them over here instead 56% assault patrol I'm going to use my scout might even get them to level up again we'll see now hoping it'll work let's see fingers crossed oh he failed it's a shame shameful Level 2. Oh well. So yeah, we're, we're Balkan tribes. The RDI, we are barbarian. Our prosperity is meagre. We can recruit another army as well, which I might do at one stage. Once I move out. Could do it now, I suppose. Now nah, we'll wait. We will wait. Another turn. And actually, we can upgrade this and Artisan's Lodgings to a... Well, I can go for a blacksmith, and that gives me Greek Ballista and Illyrian Hoplites. So I'm going to go for that. Three turns for the blacksmith. The siege equipment will be very useful in this campaign. I need to weaken these even further. How can I be useful? Click end turn. Another end turn quickly out the way. And then we can go for an attack. And sit back and take in the great music. On the original Rome game. Hidden agent exposed, okay. That's fine. Trait gained. My champion. He's an adventurer. He gets plus five wealth from adventuring. Warriors all. Warriors all. Let's get off some more levies. Another three levies. And I think twelve should be enough. Let's see. We have ten garrison now. And they're all fully fit again. It's a shame. Most of these garrisons are fit. Ooh could prove to be costly. I'm hoping that they could like fight out here or something and then I can just swoop in and take Dominion when they're not looking. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Upgrade my fisherman's hut. Get minus four public order though. I'm gonna go for a Barvarian village. Gives me more of a garrison. Worth spending some money. I'm also gonna go for a another general. I'm gonna go for Antis by here. Arde Ardean dynasty. And we're gonna go for Illyrian noble hoplites. For the tribe. He can recruit some levies. Well, he can't yet, but he will be recruiting some levies in the near future. End turn again. Quickly go through this, guys. Get to the. Ooh. Rome looks forward to seeing your okay, so. Very, Rome very has to kid war me. The my first enemy in the campaign. Oh my goodness. They're attacking my ships. <laughs> I'm going to retreat. I'm hoping they won't follow. Can they reach me up here? They can't. Okay, we saved the ships. That's good. 
and now we've got a war to think about with Rome. Surprised that really. I didn't think Rome would be so aggressive early on. It's quite nice to see that though, quite refreshing. And the textures are loading up, and there we go. Quartermaster ports. We've built those levees now in my settlement. Where's my ship gone? Do -do -do over here. Yeah, this is going to be awkward now because they've got ships. Try and get to Epidam now. So might attack me again, unfortunately. Contested sea regions. Boom, 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 boom. Take my general out from here, put my other general in. He wants hourly patrols. Gonna give him some levies as well. We need good fighters. Ah, go for loads. Twelve Ready units here. Is it enough? Isn't it enough? I'm not quite sure to be honest. What Spy. Oh god, this is gonna be awkward this is. Let's attack the general. Oh, I can't poison, can't afford it, can I? No, but can't. Oh, so sh oh, I can attack this one though. Only 38% chance, not good enough. And I can't afford it for that at all. What would you have? What would you have me? Battle. I want to get the war dogs. I'm going to just good. clear war on them. So, Derosi. Clear war. Boom. Going to just go in. Fortified position for there. If they attack me and I, and I think I won't win, I can just fall back and then have my reinforcements over here Warriors while I recruit. I think this is a good idea. And of course, in a turn's time, we can have my ballista as well, which will help me out tremendously. My scouts over here. I just want to keep them there for now just to see what happens. And my ship will be back in yes. Epidamnos before long as well. I think I can probably end turn again. See what happens in this end turn phase. Rome hasn't done anything this turn that's good as well. Ah, ah, oh, look at this, you idiots. They 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 attacked Yada. Let's have a look what happened. They attacked Yada, I think. Looks like they raided it. They've come back and they should be. Yes, they're much weakened now as well. The garrison will be fine, however. But they are weakened. And these guys should be weakened as well. Yep, they are a little bit weakened. Excellent. This gives me a good opportunity to attack them now. I can get. Oh, let's see. I'm going to. Take him off there. Get two ballista units there in the meantime. Come out of this stance, going to hire some mercenaries. And uh, we want cavalry, we do. A little bit low on cavs. And I'm going to attack the guy that's in the forced march position. It's going to be my first battle of this campaign. And it's against. Oh, that's weird. Forced march, but. but not an uh, ambush. Ah, oh, I think it's because he's in his settlement. Anyway, we're going to fight this battle, so I shall see you all on the battle map. Okay guys, welcome back. To be honest, I was a little bit disappointed with with what's happened. I was thinking that that would be the case and that I would actually be fighting one unit in an open field battle because they were in force march, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I can click this unit by here. Go to the wall. I'm going to send four of them to the walls. Deadly missiles are ready. Let's bring all these forward. See, the problem is I got a lot of cav, which I was hoping to use in an open field battle. And in siege battles, they are kind of redundant until you get them actually through the gates. They can burn the gates, but is there any real point? You know, it's, I'd rather go up and attack them properly. They've only got javelins on the walls, so once I get to the walls, it should be okay. It's the towers going to have to watch out for. They are going to be a little bit of a concern of mine. I got some men back in reserve, some levies in case. I'm hoping for the best. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to have a quick look at my general as well. Have a little close up of him for you guys. Let's find him. Boom, 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 boom. Cycle mode. Find one that looks like him. Or 
hat he got on? Ah, there he is, that's him by there. There he is. The General Bardilis of Illyria. And his horse. Fortunately, my slingers aren't in range. My slingers are in a position where they can't get hit by the towers, look, because they outrange them. So they can do some damage to the enemy now from this range. I'm actually going to bring them slightly closer, but there. This is the beauty, look. If you look at the red lines, they're well within the red lines, but they'd hit them. But the red line here of the towers doesn't actually reach them. Well, that's happening. This tower is going to go there. This one there, one there, and one there. Four towers all together in four different directions. Are we actually doing any damage with the slingers? Let's see. Not as much as I'd like, not doing any damage actually. And run 20. Oh, we got one kill. That's good. Need to try and be methodical, methodical about this. I'm meticulous as well. Trying to throw away units if I can possibly prevent them to not die. And it looks like that's a general, but here Verzo is running back to his his capture point probably. And they've actually taken some of the men off the walls. Don't know what they're doing. Don't think they know what they're doing either. Let's bring the main line up a little bit. And the Molossian war dogs as well. Cav can't really do much. A bit awkward with the Cav at the moment. Soon we'll get these up and these Illyrian spearmen will hopefully do a decent job for me. Oh, and look at this javelin. Fire javelin's not good. Oh no, don't burn the tower. Fire damage. Look, look at the fire damage. This is ridiculous. The arrow's onto the tower. This tower's not going to last long. I don't think we're going to get there with these. If I put my men right up against the wall, I'm hoping that the wall will actually stop them from getting killed like you can do in Shogun 2. I haven't quite tested it yet, but I'm going to test it now if they lose these ladders here, which looks like it could well happen. Right, ladders, 35% damage and 10%. Oh, we should be okay. we are drawing a lot of, a lot of uh, fire with these. Hoping the slings can get damage for me on some of these slave javelins. Siege time. Right then. Ladders up. And now they're climbing the ladders. Once they get up, we can start attacking them. Charge and kill them. Warriors ready for battle. Might be wise to try and take out the arrow tower because it's going to fire continuously towards me at the moment. We need to try and outflank them here though. So we're going to do, we're going to click the attack button. Get our men up there as quickly as we can. We've lost a few men already. Come on. That's right, attack. Use the whip and get in there. Help out your men, your friends up here. Rock in one unit. Charge and attack them up there now. Come on. Both of these guys. Doing well, got plenty of men left. Well, the spearmen haven't. Spe this is why I was talking about the spearmen. They, they're not that strong compared to these Illyrian levies. And we've got men coming up at this ladder now as well, which is good. I'm actually going to use the opportunity to take this arrow tower, get up there and take it quickly. Give me something to go on. Go straight for the javelin men. Javelin men. And now my slingers can now climb up as well. Help out when they can. Hopefully this thing won't, won't glitch for me. Lots and lots of javelins. Look at this, I've got four huge javelins for there. The slingers for there, my god, it's just, it's just overkill. It's just complete and utter overkill. Hurry up and get there and take that damn tower, come on. Once we take the tower, we'll be fine. We've got spearmen coming up now as well. Only got 42 remaining, unfortunately. Get one new slingers to take. Take this tower for me. Oh, the other one's going to get here. I'm gonna 
fire there for me. We're losing spearmen here. Ah, oh, we lost, unfortunately, there. We are taking this tower, though, which is going to be useful. Because they're going to come towards me, hopefully. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think they've quite decided yet what they're doing. Slingers! Slingers! If I can take this tower quickly, which we are right now. Come on, hurry up, take the tower. This tower is going to be useful. Levy's doing a pretty decent job. 40 against 115, 113. I'm going to need to have reinforcements, I think, so we're going to take two units of levies. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get them to march in through the ladders. Look at the best way in, it's probably up here, so let's try and get them up here if possible. The tower won't be firing upon me anymore. Don't want to overcommit either. These guys have taken this tower. Tower's not quite in range of the slingers, unfortunately. Thirty-four levies remaining. Let's charge them. We've taken the tower now as well. Slingers can come up here. Now that we have that tower, the tower is in range, so it will start hitting the enemy there and these men have rugged it as well which is unfortunate it's not looking good this battle is not going very well for me at the moment let's charge the slingers hoping the slingers would stay would be in range for my towers slingers don't stand a chance against them oh we get hit by this tower need to pull back I think wise to pull back. Illyrian. Illyrian levies attack javelin men there. Reinforcements will win this to me I think. No don't no don't run. Oh this is what arrow towers are like. Arrow towers just way too effective in this game. Charge use the whip. And these guys use the whip. Right I'm out of range of the tower now up here. And we're actually doing damage, we're actually hitting our enemies from this range, which is good. Uh, do I need to resort to burning the gate down? I may need to. Don't want to, but I may have to. No, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to play this fairly. We're going to try and bring these two units of levies up there now. Bring the cavalry a little bit closer with the war dogs. Oh my god, we're losing loads of men. Might not do this now. Charge, kill them. Kill them all. Use the whip. Losing the whip. The good thing is my tower now, which I'm holding here, is firing. And look, it's doing damage on these javelins. 110 by here. 109. One by one, they're losing men, which is good. The longer the battle goes on, the more men I will keep. My sling is out of ammunition now, unfortunately. These levies though are overpowering the javelin men, which I expected. A little bit of lag, unfortunately, not good. Not good at all. Tower. Done some damage to them, which is good. I'm now going to send my slingers to charge their javelin men from there. in. Throw everything in now. That's all I've got really. Got two towers to do damage with anyway. If I can just try and take the centre. And I'm gonna have to oh, I'm gonna have to burn the towers. I don't want to do this, don't want to burn the gate, but unfortunately I don't have much choice in the matter. The animals are gonna have to burn the gate for me. I'm running low on levies, so it's going to be awkward to win this. Let's try and blob through. Blob, blob, blob. We are doing damage. Use the whip. Or maybe okay. Might be okay. Don't know. Just blob through. <laughs> Blobbing all my men through now. Illyrian cavalry. 
That's right, throw your fireballs. Look at that. Look at that lovely bullshit. They want to do it, but the way this this battle's gone, it's kind of been necessary. All because of the campaign map, really. I thought that fighting somebody in, in uh, the stance that he was in would actually um, have him in an ambush, and then I could fight them a weakened force, but that wasn't to be the case, and now I've actually, well, unfortunately, I've lost a lot of men because of that. Take out these javelins now with the two Illyrians levies, then we can take this tower and we left three towers. We have the gatehouse, we'll be in the settlement, and we may be on hand then to try and march up here and actually take out whatever's up here. They have towers up here as well, right, one right in the good position, but they by the wall. Ugh, two units of infantry to win this with. It's not going to be easy. Battle ready and eager. Here we go, we're taking the settlement. And we should be able to come in now with the cab and the war dogs. Fearless warriors. We'll take the infantry up here to begin with. Just get everything in. Fortunately, my towers will, will fire upon them. Look on their routed men. They're doing damage for me. I'm going to worry about any of this now. But look at this carnage. Four ladders. Partially burnt. Well, hardly been burnt, but only 2% fire damage. Lots of dead bodies and men running away. Look at these cowards by here. Illyrian levies. Absolute cowards. They're terrible. My animal handlers ready with the war dogs, which I'm going to bring up now as well. Right, we're going to get two groups of cav. One's going to go there, one's going to go here. And now we can actually see the enemy up here. Look at that, they have, they have 160 men in the hoplite units. Ooh, how are we going to do this? Too many towers to to worry about as well. This only got range up there, where the little kind of stone feature is. I'm going to attack the hoplites now. Then, in that case, march them up as well. Uh, how am I going to do with the cav though? Can I flank? Yeah, I could flank, right? This is going to be awkward, but I'm going to do it like this. There. There. Then there. That's the only way I can do it with the cav. To, to do that, if you didn't know, you you hold down the shift button while you click, and it actually does the path for you when, after you have you click, you, you do. So the cav's going to flank. The war dogs have been released. And they are now attacking the general. They've taken a few kills from the general as well. And now going to have to charge the levies. And they got fresh units. Look at this 160, 160. 39 out of cav there. 160. I could try to secure all the towers. Oh, and look at this. We've been ambushed. Damn it. Didn't know they had this many men remaining. I thought that I had everything in the, in the center. It looks like I'm going to lose this battle because of, of these mistakes. I think some of it's been mistakes and some of it's been the game not playing like I thought it would. Didn't think that um, I'd be in this position. Come on. Oh, get them there quickly. Hurry up and get around. I need to work flank as best as I can. Use the whip on these. War dogs do some damage. What have we got left? The handlers themselves. Charging it. Give my cav, I have to charge the spearmen head on by the looks of things. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm in a position to flank now. Don't know if 
if I can take towers with horses, I can't. I have to charge. Charge their cav for them. Taking the capture point, holding them there. How was the cav doing down here? Not the best. Drag them back down here. Get them in range of my tower. Not in range, need to be right on the edge, but there to be in range. It's good though, we've routed them at the front. <coughs> Pardon me. Dealing with the cav. Oh, we're losing, we're losing the cav battle. No, don't. But they routed many of them here. Holy crap, we're gonna. We might kill the general in this case. I'm gonna charge these two at the back. Unfortunately, they're trying to outflank me now. The AI is doing very well. I, I have to say it. They, it's outflanking by here. Look, it's, it surprised me down there. It's done a fairly good uh, job in this battle. If I can just take the general up there, we might have half a chance of doing this. But they have too many men. Look, right the way back here. Just going to surround the general and try and take him out. I'm charging and count charging as best as I can right now. <laughs> Cavalry, bring back out. Cavalry. Oh, we lost the calf battle to the cavalry, unfortunately. Ah, oh, man. This is the other general by here. I'm gonna go for him. Cav charge. We're gonna lose this battle. We don't have enough men. I don't have the right type of units either. Zoom out a little bit. And of course I can't show you the tactical map on the legendary difficulty. It gets out of the position to actually use it. Oh, we're taking this tower by here as well. Oh, we're not going to take it though because these guys are here now. They're going to stop us taking it. Magako! 50 remaining. Might be able to take these out. If only if I could have taken the general out. This levy is doing a fantastic job. How many war dogs remaining? We actually, oh, we have two war dogs remaining. <laughs> I'm going to try and charge again. Pull out. With the one while the other one holds up. Oh, they're going to rout. They're all going to rout. No. <laughs> We've lost. Lost the first part of the campaign. Costly enemy victory. That was insane. That was... Look at the, war the kills of the War Dogs. 288. That's what I was talking about earlier with um, the War Dogs being useful. They do get quite a lot of kills. They've actually got the most kills for me in that battle. Most main infantry. As you can see, Spearmen are rubbish. rubbish. 14 kills and 4 kills. That's just not good enough. One of these Illyrian levies didn't get a kill at all. Slingers could have done a bit better. And unfortunately that's what happened. We don't have an army anymore. But well, we do have an army. I thought I would... I don't know what's happened. Retreat, we still have the army, that's good. Retreat. Gonna get cavalry again for the general. Warriors and I don't think we can pull back yet. No, we can't. But we are going to retreat once they attack me there. The good thing is we have weakened them a little bit, look. Should be in a position to, yeah. We, we we got a good chance to take them out in the next turn with this army once we can build some more stuff. And that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. But anyway, I'm going to end the first episode here. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you all enjoyed. Till next time. Goodbye.